Hello everybody. Thank you for joining me, Chris, here with Game Gumshoes. Uh, today's review is for a game called Bug Out. It's by Out of the Box Games. It's a fun little game. It's kind of a combination of memory and spot it. Uh, if you don't know what spot it is, um, it's a, another game by another company which I will do a full-blown review on. I have mentioned it in a uh, previous uh, convention uh, video that I did. Um, basically, you know how memory is set up where you'll lay out little tiles. Well, in this case, you have little bugs. Um, in fact, you've got yellow ones. You have uh, uh, kind of like a darker blue one. Uh, you have a lighter blue. And they're, they are varied, uh, so you will get different uh, different bugs based on, uh, regardless of your color. Uh, so here's the ant uh, the, that's pretending to be a beetle, but um, let's see, this little bug is the same color green. So you will have some variation there. Um, then you also have a reddish color. Oh, sorry, here's your bug. Um, here's an orange. Um, it's kind of a pinkish color. Um, let's see. Here's a dark green. As opposed to the light green we had earlier. And a purple. Now, as you can see, they're kind of silly. Uh, the bugs are fun. Um, but... Uh, these are your cards. These are um, what will be dealt out to you. Now, depending on the amount of players, you may or may not have cards left over. Um, I, five players, I think it is, uh, is where you actually have to leave out a set. But thankfully, the way they've got it broken down, there is one color in the deck that is only one card. So you can actually just take it out and play with the rest of them. Uh, with Bug Out, it is a game for slightly younger kids, uh, but, you know, that's not to stop you from having family fun. They, they recommend ages 5 and up, but I think you could probably go as low as 4, just because. Uh, but the thing is, if you are playing with a 4-year-old or a 5-year-old as an adult, you don't want to be too competitive. I mean, you do want your child to try, um, but you also don't want to make him hate the game uh, just because you're trying to prove a point. Uh, it can happen. I've seen it. Uh, not a good thing. But, so, basically, you have all your little bugs. And they're laid out on a table or whatever surface you're using. Um, this is a very portable game because it comes in out of the boxes, nifty little plastic case. I'm sure they do have some that are in the tin, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, you have your rule book. Yes, it's only three little folds, and um, it even shows you exactly what you're doing. Um, so what's going to happen is you're going to have these laid out on the table. The main bug out cards are going to be dealt out evenly amongst all the players. Now this is for two to six players, so you know you can imagine, and everybody starts off with their cards bug outside. You know, that's what they're looking at. Um, when you're ready, dealer says go. You flip over first bug, and you try to match it. Now, there are no turns. It is competitive in the, in the fact that you will be trying to match up your card with the bug on the table. The way you do it is there's the bug. You just cover over it like that, and so all people see is this. And once you're out of cards in your hand, that's it. The game's over. You have won. Um, very fun. I think it will... Um, it's a nice alternative to games like Memory. Because um, this one has a more competitive nature. You're not just taking turns, trying to match up things. In this game, you are really trying to see who can get rid of their cards the fastest. Um... If you want, uh, you know, try to find a copy. Give it a shot. Uh, hopefully we'll be doing a game day again soon up 
where I play my games at Rock and Rooster, and we'll be able to uh, sit down and show you how much fun it can be. Uh, thank you for joining me, Chris, and uh, I'll see you at the next video.